very critical of motorhomes. But we feel that there is a significant difference in what we're seeing lately, and it's disappointing it to is, see. It is, it really is. We've been seeing little things here and there, but on this one, there were just, it was, it was just saying I walked in and I told MJ, I'm like, this is terrible. Like, this, this is looks really bad. I know what a lot of you are gonna say in the comments, why? Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RVing. Today we have an RV tour of a very popular motor home. Behind us is the Tiffin Allegro Red, the 38KA. We're gonna take you on a complete exterior and interior tour and tell you what we think about this motor home. So make sure to stay to the end of this video, guys. We're gonna give you not only the specs that you wanna know about the coach, but we're gonna give you the price, and we're also gonna give you our true and raw feelings about this coach. So this is a extremely popular line in the Tiffin line because it's not as expensive as the Phaeton or the Bus or the Zephyr, but it's a step above your gas motorhome. So it has a nice little niche in there. This is the Red 360. We'll start right out in front. Now, as you know, Tiffin's been around for over 50 years. They're ma made down in Red Bay, Alabama, and they make very popular motorhomes. So let's start right out in front, guys. I love the color of this, right? It's like that black. It looks like, you remember the A-Team? Yes, the yeah, yeah. Baracus. Like so is that the name Baracus? Bar you remember that. VA Baracus, if you, it's hard to see because we're inside right now. But if you look, it has like that black with the, the red, red stripes. stripes. It's very yeah. ominous looking. I kind of like it. Yeah. Like the front, it's a little more arrow. It kind of has a slant to it. I don't know if you can catch it on camera, but it does really look nice. You have the large automotive style windshield. And when I mean automotive style, you don't see the big seal bringing everything in. It just has a very small seal in here. And this is actually bonded to the fiberglass cap in the front. So it's a much cleaner look. And then another thing I like, these are not LED. They have LED lights here, but projector headlights up front. You have the little Tiffin logo, and then it's very clean, right? Like you don't have that huge grill up front and you don't need it because this is a diesel pusher. So the motor is in the back, but you do have your generator back here, which we'll show you a little bit later. Now, here's a disclaimer, guys. We are at the Maryland RV show. We're indoors, everything is very tight. So we can't take you down the whole passenger side, but we'll give you some of the highlights. Bus style mirrors chromed out up front. You have the integrated turn signal as well as integrated cameras. So when you turn your turn signal on, it will give you a shot standing right here. This is all blind spot, but with that camera, it eliminates that. What's really nice, and you're seeing this more on the higher end motorhomes, and we'll talk about price on this a little bit later if you don't already see it. Full body paint, obviously that is pretty much standard on something of this price. Now, Tiffin doesn't use, maybe they are now, but we haven't seen them. They don't use the uh, frameless windows. They still use the frame windows, and a lot of people like that because it's supposed to give extra ventilation. We can't really comment on that because we've always had frameless windows, but we can comment what we see is that you have a Gerard awning right over the entry door which is always a nice thing so when you're going to come out if it's raining out you just have to look out real quick you won't get any kind of rain on you and then you see they have they don't have the integrated gutters but they do have gutter extenders which i guess is a plus it's like a 12 dollars option <laughs> you have on all of your slides here and this is a three slide coach you have a gerard slide toppers as well as uh, awnings over the windows. So tires on this, 275, 80, 22 and a half. This is, does not have a tag axle because this coach is just under 40 feet. And then I'll quickly show, you can't really see it on camera, but you do have a entertainment center over here. We can't open it because everything is really close. You have pass-through storage going down the whole passenger side, which we'll show you from the driver's side, but let's just walk to the back of this coach to show you some of the features. So this is a bunkhouse model. You can see how large this slide is from where I was standing before to almost really the end of the coach. You have probably eight feet or so you have almost a full wall slide. One thing that's different on this versus like the Allegro bus, Allegro bus, Zephyr, I think maybe even the Phaeton, they have a one piece slide, right? It's, so it's all one piece. This is more of your traditional constructed slide where you see you have the box and then you have the molding along with sealant and screws. So again, this is gonna be on the lower end of the diesel totem pole for Tiffin, but it still works. This is very similar to what we have. Uh, they are not flush mount slide, so when this recedes into the wall, this large molding will actually be seen. So that's something on all Tiffins, just to keep that in mind. So one thing that we really do like about Tiffins is the construction of the bay doors. They're all aluminum, they're very heavy, and they don't need to be slammed. I can just kind of and it closes, yeah, right? Like, Whereas sometimes them, you have to. Yeah, I think you can get maybe even closer. You gotta be like uh, Arnold you know? Schwarzenegger to close Yeah, it. so these are, it's really nice. We'll just show you some of the bays in the back over here. This particular model is a propane fired coach. So 
your heating, your hot water is going to be run on propane. This does have the Truma AquaGo. Now you can option in the uh, Aqua Hot 250. That is an option, but it's not optioned in on this coach. And here's the thing, guys. The Aqua Hot works great, right? It, it gives you endless hot water. This gives you endless hot water. It gives you an all electric coach, but you have to maintain those and they're very expensive. We have this. It works absolutely amazing and propane will heat your coach. Also, you're also gonna have heat pumps on the roof. The Truma is literally one of my favorite things it, we've ever done. We've had it for four years. Yeah. It's been flawless. Yep. And it's like almost zero maintenance other than the one year decalcification, which right. it does itself with a couple of tablets and you could do it yourself. I wanna show you this last bay back here. You have the LED light that does light up when you open it up. And then here is some of your uh, electrical chassis batteries are actually located back here. You can't really see them, but they're in this bay, two chassis batteries. So on the rear cap here, this does have a 10,000 pound towing capacity. Some of the things I really like here, look at all the LED strips on the rear tail light. And why I like this is because they were kind of smart doing this. If you look every LED strip, you can remove this. So if something goes wrong here, you don't have to remove this whole tail light. You can just get these LED strips. You can even change these out if you want. Super simple to replace. I would get all different colors. You could do that, yeah. I don't know if you'd be DOT legal, but you can do that. I was gonna say, that. you might have a problem with the cops. You might have a problem with that. So look at one piece fiberglass rear cap. Like I said, 10,000 pound towing capacity. This is a rear mounted radiator. Advantages and disadvantages as far as performance, they perform just like the side mounted, but regarding maintenance, it's gonna be much easier to maintain a side mounted. On the flip side, when we go on the driver's side, not having the side mounted radiator gives you extra storage space, which is really nice. Now looking up top, you have a camera here, you see the marker lights up top, and it's just finished out really nicely. So here are some of the chassis specs. It's on the Freightliner XCM modular re-engine diesel chassis, as we said a little bit before. It has the Allison 3000 motorhome transmission. Now regarding the engine, this will have a Cummins 360 horsepower, 800 foot-pounds of torque. That is the B6 0.7 Cummins motor. So let's go to the driver's side and we'll show you some of the features on the driver's side. Before we go over to the driver's side of this beautiful motor home, we want to thank the official sponsor of this video is RVMattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding. What is RVMattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding? Well, they make custom RV mattresses. The best. The best. So you can <laughs> sleep at night because I'm telling you this is a terrible mattress inside, but <laughs> Tiffin's not alone. Most of them no, are pretty bad. bad. Yeah. So we love the mattress. We actually got one for Jason at home, which is even softer. It's, you know, it's much better. Yeah, it's really, really nice. They're just so comfortable. It really changes the way you sleep. So what's great about them is that they offer free shipping on all U.S. orders and they have a 120 night sleep trial. So if you sleep on it and you don't like it, you can return it. They also offer a 10 year warranty. They're made in the USA, which is pretty awesome. And they have a variety of different RV mattresses, whether it's a foam or you like springs or you like a hybrid cooling mattress. They have all different ones. They even have mattresses for your home. Although we're talking about RVs here. They have low prices all the time, but if you go to rvmattress.com backslash endless and you use the discount code, endless, you get 20% off. So it's a no brainer guys. We've had that ours now for two years on our motor home. We absolutely love it. If you're tired of a crappy night of sleep in your motor home, go check them out. So a couple of things I want to point out on the driver's side. First thing we noticed over here, there is a, a mount for a ladder. A lot of the motorhomes are not putting ladders in the rear. We hate that. We like to get up on the roof, make sure everything's maintained. It's really important, but you can see you would just hook your ladder here and uh, go climb up the roof. So here's some of the exhaust guys. This is gonna be for your furnace. I do also wanna point something else out. We've done quite a few videos on cleaning your RV and how important it is to use DI water as well as lamb's wool pads. And actually on this motorhome, right on the window from Tiffin, it says it's very important not to use brushes as it will scratch the finish. Now, a lot of these motorhomes, they have a softer paint. I just wanna show you, we can really see it inside here. And I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but there is a ton of swirl marks on here and I'm kind of like wiping it. These are swirl marks that will cause whoever decides to buy this unit, if they don't make a big deal from buying it from the dealer, this will cost them thousands of dollars to repair because that's going to have to be polished out. So it's just something to keep in mind. We'll link the video above on how to wash your motorhome and keep that paint safe. So let's continue that from the bad news to the good news. So remember I told you a little bit earlier, no side mounted radiator. You have a little bit of extra storage and this is kind of finished out like on that truck liner. And that doesn't have a light like no. the opposing side does. No light. This is gonna be your bay with power. Now, one thing I notice on here and we'll kind of expect is no power reel, right? There's no power reel here, 50 amp coach, of course. Here is your DEF fill. We'll talk about all the specs 
Uh, before we go inside, this is a dual fill coach for the diesel, but the DEF is over here. One thing I don't like, they don't give you an access door. So you, ha you have to open up the door to fill up the DEF. Now continuing down the driver's side, here is your wet bay. Everything you need guys, your city water, tank flush, your solar input, it has all the valve for the bypass, whole house filtration, and then you have your dump system over here, which is pretty standard. One other thing that we noticed, and this is for you conspiracy theorists out there, we have our own theories. If you follow Tiffin for a long time, you would know that one of their trademarks beside that big logo on the door, it always say, built by Tiffin, Red Bay, Alabama. We're noticing on all the Tiffins we're seeing here, built by Tiffin. So I don't know what that means. I don't know, maybe they're gonna move production somewhere else or it's just a change. I don't know, but put in the comments below. What do you think? Talk amongst yourselves. So here you're gonna get a better view of the pasture storage and this does have large storage and that's the advantage of a diesel motorhome class a versus a gas is that you get true pass-through storage and this is no exception so you have a lot of storage on here as would be expected when Love you get the doors Love yeah they the just doors. i mean you can see it's pretty effortless awesome. and they're closing so that's a really nice thing now here is the uh, propane which i showed you we talked about a little bit before you can option into aqua hot 250 but that will cost you more money and maybe the person won't want that here is the other side of your dual fill for your diesel and then this is the bay where you have more electronics guys and then up here on the right there's a handle if you pull this handle here that releases the front slide for your diesel generator and it allows for very easy maintenance of your generator this is the onan quiet diesel 8000 watt diesel generator it will easily run everything you need in here so before we go inside let's give you some of the specs overall length 39.6 the width is 101 the overall height 1210 the interior height is 84 inches and interior width is 96 inches it's 390 square feet approximate interior size and basement storage is approximately 119 cubic feet now let's give you some of the other specs front axle 14,320 pounds rear axle 23,000 pounds gross vehicle weight rating 37 320 maximum trailer weight is 10,000 pounds the hitch rating 10,000 pounds gross combined weight rating is 47,320 pounds your fuel tank is 100 gallons def is 13 gallons fresh water tank 90 gray water 70 black 50 and if it's equipped with lp like this one it is 36 gallons of lp All right, let's go inside. Now, as always, Tiffin has their logo here and here, roughing it smoothly, pretty much. This is a solid, really sturdy door. So you have your screen here and you have this as well. And what I like here is that they have a screen, but with a protector here and a little window so your, your little puppies can sit on the steps if they want and look outside and bark at everybody that goes by. If you find value in this video, we, we invite you to hit the subscribe button below, hit the notification bell so you know when we go live and release new videos. Also, we have a private Facebook group. We'd love you to join. It's called Endless RVing, RVers Coming Together. And we have a free monthly newsletter. The link to sign up for that is below. So when you come in, you're gonna have your lighted handrail here, which I actually need, and I'm gonna tell you why. And anybody's been following us. <laughs> No, it's just a matter of time. Before I show you the beautiful inside of this uh, motorhome. So we're at the Maryland RV show. Today is what, February 18th. So I'm training for a half marathon. So this morning at the hotel, we got up to, and I was running on the treadmill and I'm running, running. And all of a sudden my right knee just, that's it, we're done. And I had to, like, I literally couldn't put pressure on my knee. So I'm gonna be limping. And I'm telling you this because I know people are gonna say, why are you limping? That's why I'm limping. But along those lines, real quick, those of you that were betting that I wouldn't make it into the hospital or anything, eh, I have to have carpal tunnel su uh, surgery. So on both wrists. So that's in March and May. So 15 minutes, I'll be done. That's easy peasy. But I digress. Let's move on. All right. So here is your cockpit area. Very simple. You have your electronic leveling to your left. Oh, here's your parking brake, your controls. Over here, you're gonna have, here's your um, extra light, your map light, as they call it. You're gonna have your gen start, your shades, controls for your shades and everything, your GPS. It's okay, you know, it's, it's comfy, but you know, nothing crazy. I mean, your powered seats, which is good, up and back. 
as per usual. So up above, you're gonna have some sleeping space. Now you're gonna have a lot of sleeping space in this coach. You're gonna see, this is definitely for a family, okay? So you're going to have that. Let's move into the living area here. You have your, your privacy shades and your day shades, okay? So here's your dining area. Here's your vents. You will see a carpeted slide. So for those of you that don't like that, just be aware that this is it. You have decent sized windows here. You have a lot of cabinets, hidden hinges on all of them. And what's nice, there's no divider. So you do have full open space in there of all the cabinets and they run the whole length of this part of the slide here. All right, so into the right next to the couch, you have USB ports. You have a couple 110 outlets and here's your light controls there for anywhere, you know, in this area of the coach. And these USB outlets are crooked for you OCD people. Then you're gonna have a nice large couch here. This is a trifold bed. So this pulls out for more sleeping space. So you have the bunk, you have this and then we'll get even more as we move down. Then you have your neck wrecker TV here. That's a, it's a no, no for me, right? We had that in our, yeah, no in our trailer. I just didn't like that. Some more little storage space. These are just real tiny areas. And then a little shelf there, you have a sound bar. So you have, I like the floors. You have nice tile floors. And then the ceiling, you have this huge ceiling tray here and you have the nice soft padded vinyl ceilings. I like those. Then we're gonna move into the pantry area. So you have two large pantries. And I, I gotta tell you. Oh, wow, oh my. I'm, uh, yeah, guys, I'm not, not loving it. All the drawers are not these, but you'll see our soft clothes as when we get into the bedroom. Large residential LG fridge and freezer. And then moving into the kitchen space here, you're going to have a lot of, the hardware feels a little different too. These are our soft clothes, as I mentioned to so you, have four of those to keep all your kitchen items. So you have a double sink here. These are all solid surface countertops. Pretty basic you know, faucet there. And then you're going to have a power area here. So you have two USBs and two outlets there. What I do like is you have this long window in the galley here, large, large window with the nice backsplash all around it. So that's nice. So it's nice when they match the appliances somewhat. So you have an LG microwave here. This actually, what's pretty cool is you'll see this is a convection microwave, but you also get an oven. So you're gonna have a suburban oven here. It's small, you're not gonna cook a huge Thanksgiving turkey in there, but that's nice that you get both. And what I like too, is that you have a three burner propane stove which is great, nice and large for that. And you have a lot of counter space too here with added counter space. When you can pull this out, you have more prep space here, really, really large extension there. Okay, so now headed into the next area, you do have your power panel here with all of your lights, your tank levels, everything there. I love that, I wish we had that. Then here's more sleeping space, guys. The new base stars you, have them. Yeah, well, <laughs> two, bunks here so again you can use them for kids you can use them for dog crates you can use it for extra storage if you want to hang clothes so you have a lot of space and there are plenty of outlets and usbs in there so that's a good size and what's good about this if you do use it for kids they each get a drawer for their clothes a large drawer guys i gotta show you something here just have to point this out we're noticing this a lot around the coach just, just a lot of like sh kind of shoddy woodwork here and it's it's you know it's a little disappointing but they're soft clothes, so that's good. All right, so here's your half bath going in. I've noticed a lot too, and again, I'm just kind of making little notes about this. A lot of the hardware that's placed is is not even. I'm noticing that. So here's you have a lot, nice large medicine cabinet here. Okay, you got a couple outlets there, and here's your your window. Good size for the toilet there, and you have you do have some cabinet space, not a ton there, but. So in the bedroom now, so what I, I like when they put a ceiling fan, that's always good if it's like a nice day, but you don't wanna put the air on and you have that. So that's really cool. What I also like in here is that they give you a built-in hamper, built-in clothes hamper. So that's good. And then you have some extra drawers here. I don't know if I say plenty of drawer space, but there's there's adequate drawer space. Again, also have clothes. You do have a shelf here. So you have a window that you can look out from the bed. Here is your fourth TV on the coach. So you have the one exterior and then you have the two in the living area and the one here. So you do get your privacy in here with this door from your millions of kids that are sleeping out there. The door is, is sturdy. The, the problem is guys, I, again, this is a quality thing. I don't know what's got, if this got damaged during travel but we got something going on here where the door isn't closing the door's all over the place you can see it's super loose up there but it makes the door pretty 
difficult to move. Just something to point out, you know, again, I, I'm gonna say this again, because people ask in the comments, I'm getting a new motorhome, why do I need to get an inspection? Well, you're, we're kind of showing you, you know, some reasons that you, you really should think about it. And there is storage under the king size bed, which is good. You have some cabinetry or cabinets up above. It's very well lit in here. You have a lot of the puck lights, but you also have the reading lights over the bed, which is nice. I like the, the headboard. Both sides of the bed, you're going to have just a tiny little storage space here that you can keep any items that you like in there. And you each get a USB port and you have your 110 outlets here as well. I, I am gonna notice another thing is these, uh, some of the things are just put on crooked. A little disappointing, but moving over here, this is also crooked here if you take a look. Um, but here's your wardrobe. It's a lighted wardrobe. I like that when the lights come right on and you have plenty of room to fit your clothes in there. Then you're gonna take one step up into the bathroom. You do have laundry facilities. So you can have a Splendid washer dryer here. It's a nice amount of space here where the toilet is, okay? It is not a pedal flush. You have a porcelain toilet, but you do have push button. So if it breaks, you're SOL until you get it fixed. Large sink area where you can keep a lot of bathroom items and you have a carpeted area under the sink. I never understand that if there could be leaks. That's gonna make it fun. And then you have two drawers here. The shower is pretty decent. I, they give you the little stool, little stool for ladies, okay, to shave your legs, which is always good. Or guys, you shave your legs, whatever. To each his own. Um, not super high. I'm five nine, and I'm about three inches or so from the top of the shower. You have the shower miser here, which is great to warm up that water without wasting it. It kind of saves that for you. And you also have a bar here to hold on, which I also like. So before we give you the price of this, both the MSRP and the show price, we, we think it's really important. We're not often very critical of motorhomes. We like Tiffin a lot, but we feel that there is a significant difference in what we're seeing lately. And this motorhome, this is not what Tiffin's about, or at least maybe no. it's the new Tiffin, I don't know. But it's not what Tiffin tr traditionally had put out. When we were searching for our motorhome and we bought Nelly, it was between Newmar and Tiffin because they're known for quality. And we have been seeing a decrease in quality as, as we go on Tiffin's, especially in the last year or two and i know what a lot of you are going to say in the comments why but we found a lot of things on this motorhome and some of them i pointed out as we were going through but there's just a, a lot of shoddy work i don't know if this was a friday afternoon job or what but but it should you be know, at, no, at the prices they're charging no i mean there's staple marks all over the place there's screws coming out there's the, the paint that izzy pointed out on the exterior that should not look like that yeah that could be from there's, the dealership i, it, I don't it could, know it could but, but caulking right a, messy a caulking the drawers are all over the place it's a huge difference from what we saw when we used to look at Tiffin's Just years the ago. material used on the seats, it's, it's cheap plastic. Yeah. The cabinets are, I'm gonna go out and say it feels like a Thor Challenger, a Thor Palazzo. And that's not a knock on Thor Challenger, Thor Palazzo, but you're paying a lot it's less. A lower, it feels like a lower price so point. It, it yeah. feels like an entry level diesel and it's not an entry level price and it's not what Tiffin is known for. Tiffin was never an entry level yeah. motorhome company. And it's disappointing to it see. It is. It really is. We were, and actually shocking, like because we've been seeing little things here and there, but on this one, there were just it was, it was just obvious. thing after thing. Yeah. Like I, I walked in and I told MJ, I'm like, this is terrible. Like this, this is looks really bad. And it is what it is. You can bash us in the comments, or you can put whatever you want in the comments. But we're just what, calling out how we see it. Right. And and we we do that. And and what we want to hear from you is what have you seen? If you've been at shows, if you're a Tiffin owner, we really want to hear from you. Let us know what you've been seeing as you see Tiffin through the years. So let's talk about the yeah. price. This is being offered by Chesico RV out here in Maryland. MSRP 425, 510, the show discount 66, 212. And there is your show price, 359, 298. Of course, that is always negotiable. This is a 23, those 24s are coming out pretty soon. Again, guys, this is not a coach we would buy, but it may fit somebody. And who knows, maybe there's a different Tiffin that you would, because the ones we saw at the Hershey show, now again, we're on a Phaeton and above, but this is not a cheap motorhome. By no, no means. it's not. But like I said, you know, it, we're not going to say, oh, it's Tiffin, Tiffin, Tiffin. Mm -hmm. It could be, you know, in travel, the things happen, maybe. but it wasn't just one thing. So we hope to see quality Im improve instead of diminish. Right. So in the comments below, let us know, do you like this motorhome regarding as far as the paint scheme, the design, the, layout, the overall the interior? What do you think of it? Or do you not like it? Put it in the comments below. And then to the left of us, if you like videos like this, we'll put our RV tours, our RV newbies playlist. And for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime. And we'll see, see you, you on, on the road. road.